does taste good. It turned out great. As far as I'm concerned, pressure cookers are one of the greatest thing to ever happen in the kitchen. It allows you to prepare meals quickly and pretty much effortlessly, even if you have no idea what you're doing. So right here I have a pressure cooker from Bizuzu by Zuzu. It's an electric pressure cooker that's nine in one because it has a bunch of different options. It has different options such as pressure cook, slow cook, rice cook, steam, saute, warm, different stuff like that. To be honest, I'm mainly gonna be using pressure cook and you know, rice cook, because who doesn't like to make some rice quickly and effortlessly and amazingly all the time. It does feature a safety lock lid, double pressure safety valves, 10 plus safety protection devices, 18 preset cooking programs, which is weird considering I thought it was a nine in one. Hmm. Oh, well, more the merrier. Reprogrammable cooking function sounds pretty cool. 24 hour timer function and even includes a cookbook. Now just look at all these different meals you can prepare inside of this six quart capacity pressure cooker. Oh man, I mean this box, it looks pretty nice, but also, you know, pretty mediocre. But <laughs> so what's on the inside that matters? Let's find out. Pull this whole thing out, very easy. Nothing left inside the box. Got this plastic. Ooh, shiny! This thing, ooh. This thing looks pretty nice. This up. I don't know if it's a good idea to carry it by the handle. I mean, it has a handle. I think you should be able to carry the whole thing with it. I don't see why not. But looking good. I've never seen it this shiny. Wait, how do you open this? Where's the button? I know there's usually a button. Oh, there's no button on this one. So the last pressure cooker I had, it has a button that you push to release. This one, you just turn it once the pressure is released and it opens. I guess it's easier. Although I feel like I'm going to hurt myself. But we'll see. This thing looks a little more complicated too. This vent right here it looks different so this is venting and then this is pressurized so you always want to vent it and watch out for the steam that shoots out it's very nice you can see when the lids locked and unlocked if we take a look at the front we have all the different modes we have rice beans porridge fish eggs sterilize stew steam diy saute slow cook soup chicken meat cake yogurt bread and jam and then taste I guess this is to cycle between different options to how you want it to taste. Menu, delay time start, start and keep warm and cancel along with a little LED screen. Hmm, it's kind of soft right there. Less normal and more, you know, different stuff, basic stuff. Where's the power cable at? <laughs> it's probably inside actually, I think now the box is empty. Okay, so inside, very nice, good size, and ooh, we have a bunch of goodies. We have the all-important power cable, kind of short. A rice paddle, because we're going to make some rice. A measuring cup, probably specifically for the rice, and I guess whatever you want. The condensation catcher, as well as a cookbook with, ooh, yogurt DIY. Can you do the yogurt in here, or do you need to cook in something else? A medium pan on high heat. Yeah, you do have to cook the yogurt on a separate pan and then throw it in here. We have salty chicken, jam. So this is actually pretty cool, a bunch of different recipes. And we also have a user manual, as well as the steam rack, so you can steam some vegetables. Pull out the internal pot, which is very cool because it makes it easy to clean. You just have to wash out the pot and then also probably clean the lid. Oh my goodness, I just noticed there's a huge dent on the side. <laughs> it's funny, when I was picking it up this side, I was like, hey, it's flexing. And then I looked over here and there's, did I do this or was this already here? I don't think I did it because I would have noticed if I put a huge, dent in it. I don't know why it's so soft. So this one's, I guess, feels a lot cheaper than the other one I was using. <laughs> if there's a huge dent, really? That's insane. I can't believe that. Never have I ever. But, you know, it should hopefully work. Inside, we can see the heating element. This is going to heat up. It has a little button so it knows that it's in there. And then it's going to heat up everything and pressurize everything. So, pretty nice. Other than this dent. So first things first, let's get the condensation catcher and salt just now snap right into place here just like so i'm not sure why it wasn't pre-installed it's kind of weird but you know whatever it was easy then we have power cable is also going to be very easy okay so as you can see on <laughs> as far as you could tell this is just going straight across but in real life it's not moving so pay no attention to that but we do have lights here everything's lighting up and we can 
put it to the test. So I'm actually going to put it to the test right now because I'm kind of hungry. So let's get started. All right. So for our test inside of the pot, I have a three and a quarter pound beef chuck roast along with some birria consomme. And I'm going to try to turn it into birria because I'm stupid and I feel like it'll kind of taste the same, sort of. So let's see how fast we can cook this. Let's get this in place like so. And now, meat. Oh, so you can't actually press each one. You have to press menu to cycle through them all. Oh my God, you have to cycle through all of them. So meat's over here, it says 20 minutes. Yeah, let's, just, let's see what happens. So 20 minutes and then we have taste. Did it already start or something? What's going on? <laughs> um, taste. I think it's starting. Okay, so it was starting automatically because I stopped on it. So let me do this again. So, meat 20 and then taste. Oh, so you can do 10, 20, or 30, depending on how long you want it to cook it. Less, normal, or more. And then the delay start, and I guess that's it. Plus and minus, you can adjust how much time you want. So we'll just do... I guess it's on 30 minutes right now. So we'll start at 30, make sure this is locked. And I'll see you guys back here in 30 minutes. Hopefully with some amazing meat. All right, y'all, it's been 30 minutes and now it is time for the best part. It's keeping warm right now, but we're gonna open this up. I'm gonna move over yonder. Cause right when I push this open, you do not want your face by here and it's really loud and hot. <laughs> I knew it was a bad idea, but I didn't do anything to prevent it. This thing just drenched the overhead camera. We just... Well, that can't be good. I wiped it off. It still looks kind of foggy. Hopefully it subsides by itself. That would be disappointing. Let's open this up. Oh, here we go. Looking hot. So I did actually run this for about an hour and a half because I found I was supposed to do roughly 20 minutes per pound of meat. So I wanted to make sure it was good. I took it out after 30 minutes and it wasn't ready. So put it back in for another hour. Let's see if it's falling apart. Ooh, it is coming off. I think I would still cook it a bit longer, but it is beginning to shred itself. Now you could take this out and shred it manually, but I like it to just be fall off the bone even though there's no bone in this one. Oh, look at that. See that? Ooh. Look at that. See, normally you would slow cook this for hours. I did this for an hour and a half, 90 minutes. It's pretty good. Oh, there we go, I like it's shredding. Yeah, this would definitely shred if I pulled out my meat claws. Let me actually pull out a little piece. I'm gonna taste it. it. Smells good. Okay, looking good. Mmm, does taste good. It turned out great. Let me get some more of this. All right, it's working well. Of course, if I cook it longer, I don't want to overcook it, but if I cook it longer, it would definitely start shredding itself as it's cooking. All right, so the pressure cooker is working fine, doing its job. Now, would I recommend this particular pressure cooker? Not really. The problem was, you guys saw that, let me show you guys again in case you forgot, this huge dent. And this is pretty flexible. I'm not sure why, the last one I had isn't that flexible. The screen, it flexes, like everything, it just feels kind of cheap. It looks cool, but it was easily damaged somehow inside of the box and things just feel very soft so I wouldn't recommend this one specifically but the other one that I did try out link right here I would recommend that one that one's been working wonderfully and it feels very solid and strong but if you want to pick this one up obviously I'll throw the link down below or you can check out the other one and pick that one up instead which I would recommend over this one I think they're roughly the same price so it's better to go with the nicer option if you're paying the same price but other than that, it is working well. I love pressure cookers. Let me know how you feel about pressure cookers. Do you think they're the life-saving invention that everyone needs in their kitchen? Or is it just me because I'm lazy? But I do like to cook. What, sometimes I just want to throw something in, have it cook itself without having to worry about it.